Hello and welcome to day one, module three, situational English in the house. I would want you to meet my family because a house can be understood very well the moment you meet the family members and the people around and know the relationships, how to converse with them and so on. So meet my family. This is the family photo of mine with my grandparents, parents, uncles, aunts and cousins. These are the basic relationships that we have at home along with of course the siblings, the brothers and sisters. My grandfather, the person who is sitting exactly in the middle with spectacles on his face and a dhoti and a kurta is my grandfather. My grandfather, how can you introduce him or her? My grandfather, who was a landlord, rice mill owner and a freedom fighter, is well known for his discipline and his maintenance of punctual daily schedule. He is six feet tall, strongly built, used to wear a typical Indian dress of a dhoti, kurta and an upurna made of khadi cloth. He used to get up at four o'clock, have his bath, do puja, then go to the temple for which he used to be the chairman of the trust. Return by 11 a.m having his lunch and rest for some time. He had an excellent linguistic skills and had a command in both Telugu and English languages. He had a great interest for the legal register and used to help the lawyers in drafting legal papers in both the languages. He was an ace chess player and used to play chess with all of the grandchildren in the afternoons. He used to offer counseling to the needy in resolving their legal and domestic problems in the evenings. After having his dinner at 6 p.m., he used to go to bed by 7. He used to recite many shlokas and mantras, listening to which all of us grew up. He used to tell many historical and mythological stories to all of us before going to bed. We love him and remember him throughout. This is how you can describe his personality. The lady standing behind my grandfather is my grandmother. My grandmother is now 96 years old and is very warm, loving, cozy and caring being. She has been the support of the entire family with 48 people in the joint family. She has been such affectionate existence to her seven children and 13 grandchildren that going to the paternal house has been a joy-filled awaiting journey to all of us. Her tasty Indian cuisines, her songs, stories, her puja mantras would be with us all throughout our life. She is the pillar of our family, showering blessing at all of us. Sitting in the beginning of the photo is my father. My father worked as a scientist in Central Fisheries and retired as the director of Central Institute of Brackish Water Aquaculture, Siba, Madras. He has been a strict disciplinarian, a fine scientist who passionately loved his work, lover of music, a voracious reader, mastered in astrology, a generous and loving person. He is compassionate, caring and ever motivating who believes in spiritualism and spiritual practices. The lady in black and white sari standing at the back of him, second in order from the, of the ladies, is my mother. My mother served as a librarian in Vivekananda School, Madras, and now a retired homemaker doing social service by helping the people in her vicinity in multiple ways. Her life has been a service to the family and society as a teacher, as a lioness member, and as an individual. She is very warm, cozy, and affectionate towards all. The one sitting on the third among the children is I myself. And next to me is sitting my brother. We both are siblings. The brother and the sister to each other are called as siblings. The rest of the children who are sitting are called as cousins. <clears throat> the other men who are sitting apart from my grandfather and father are my uncles. Father's brother, the husband of the father's sister, mother's brother and the husband of the mother's sister are called as uncles. English language confers the name uncle on any human male in the society, in fact. The ladies who are standing at the back, apart from my mother and my grandmother, are my aunts. Father's sister, the wife of the father's brother, 
mother's sister, the wife of the mother's brother, are called as aunties or aunts. English language confers the name auntie on any human female in the society. Excluding I myself and my brother, the rest of the children who are sitting on the ground are my cousins. Cousins are the children of uncles and aunts. Cousin is a word that should not be followed by the sister or brother. He is my cousin is masculine gender and she is my cousin is feminine gender. Mother-in-law is again another relation that you find in the house. Husband's mother or wife's mother is called mother-in-law. Father-in-law is husband's father or wife's father. Brother-in-law is husband's brother or wife's brother. Sister's husband or the husband of the wife's sister or the husband of the brother's sister. Sister-in-law is the relation that you could find related to husband's sister or a wife's sister or brother's wife or the wife of the wife's brother or the wife of the husband's brother. The plural for the in-law is kept with the basic noun brother-in-law as brothers-in-law, sisters-in-law, mothers-in-law, fathers-in-law and so on. The genitive marker is kept after the word law if you are want to express it in the possessive case. Mother-in-law's sari, apostrophe s. Yes. My father-in-law's book, apostrophe s. Yes. These are some basic relations that you could find in the house and you should know how to address them. Thank you for watching it.